Hello! Today we're making minecarts, tracks, mushrooms and gold piles. Let's get started. First of all, I'm slicing some thin strips of EVA foam and that will make up the rails for our minecart track. Then to make the wood panels for our tracks, I'm using balsa wood. Each wood support is about one and a quarter inch lengths long. Once they're all cut out, I also cut some jagged indents and misshape them a little bit. Then we can glue everything up. The EVA foam gets coated in PVA glue and spaced so the rails are about one inch wide. Then I glue the wood panels on and try to space them about a quarter of an inch apart. Now for the minecart, as always I made a really basic template. The template was glued onto some scrap thin cardboard. Then cut out, scored along the fold lines and super glued together. The same was done with a piece labelled foam board, and that was glued to the bottom of the minecart. The wheels were roughly cut from foam board, and then more carefully cut out of cardboard. The two pieces of the wheel were then glued together. I used a knife to make a pilot hole in the centre of each wheel, and then the two wheels were skewered together with a toothpick, which formed a bit of an axle. The axles were then poked through the foam board on the minecart, and then any excess toothpick was trimmed off. Now, for some rocky terrain, I'm using EVA foam. By ripping the foam, you can get some really natural looking stone faces. On one of the pieces of rock, I'm going to try to make a platform for a ramp made out of balsa wood. I'm making this up as I go along, but I'm trying to make the total height where the minecart will be about four inches high. Then I can glue the track on and made a pretty cool ramp. I spray painted the tracks and tower black. I made a paste of paint, PVA glue and sand and I brushed that onto all the rocky bases and also in the minecart. Once that was dry I painted it all black ready for painting. I mixed up an iron colour from silver and black paint and painted the rails and cart. The rock pieces got hit with grey and muddy browns. Everything wood was painted dark brown and then dry brushed a tanned leather brown. A black wash was added to the minecart to bring out the details and then dry brushed a fluoro sickly green randomly throughout all the pieces. I think this piece could really use some mushrooms. And funnily enough, last month I made a mushroom maker. And here's how I did it. This is a chunk of XBF foam. You could probably use any foam though. I pierced a hole into it and made it wide enough that a skewer could fall through it with ease. I then mixed up some modelling epoxy and covered the top of the hole. I pierced the epoxy with a skewer to line up with the hole below and I was left with sort of a volcano shape. Using the pointy end of a skewer, I sculpted some lines into the epoxy. I don't really know how to describe this. I'm sort of making a flower shape or little eyelashes or spider legs. I don't really know. Anyway, I used lots of water and made sure that the skewer didn't stick. I trimmed the excess epoxy off and smoothed it with an end of a paintbrush. In the end, it should look a little bit like this. Now, back to present time. Let me show you how to use it. You get a toothpick and you snap it in half. You poke it through the hole and put a little bit of epoxy on the top. Using some water, you shape the top of the mushroom and that's it. Now you can push the toothpick up through the hole and it forms the perfect mushroom and stalk. Nobody will ever see the detail and effort you put into making this mushroom, but you'll know it's there. Then I painted the tops of the mushrooms brown and the stalks white and I speckled some white dots on the top. I then washed the top of the mushroom with a brown wash and trimmed the stalks and poked them into the rocky bases. Now, how about some gold piles? I got a piece of paper, some gravel, some super glue, and I made little mounds and glued it all together. Once dry, I ripped and peeled off the paper and spray painted it gold. Then I added a brown wash and look at that. It looks like perfect, gold. And that's really it. If you want to take this further you could add some stalagmites or maybe some crystals. 
I don't know. You do you and have fun. Hello. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to see something in particular, let me know because I get stuck for ideas. So just let me know what you want to see. Um, if you want to support the channel, share it around and like it and subscribe. And if you want to support it financially, uh, donate for the templates because that helps out a lot. Um, yeah, I think that's really it. Just keep doing you because sport's been great. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. All right, thank you very much.